Hello. I'm going to show how Excel functions can be used to change data format, to find and replace text within a cell, and to extract part of the string. Also, I will generate more data based on data already provided and use Excel tools to filter data visually. Please note that all data in this example are randomly generated. Let's start with the first sheet. The first column is timestamp, next to it is name column, then phone number column, phone category column, and email address column. I'm going to change phone number format by removing all characters except numbers, to shorten phone category list to be one word only, and to extract an email address from a string. Then I'm going to add country column based on email address properties and use slicer and pivot table to filter data visually. To change data format, I'm going to use substitute function to replace all characters I do not need, round brackets, white space and hyper minus with an empty space. Applying below written formula on phone numbers on the left, I will get phone numbers composed only by numbers. To find and replace text within a cell, I will use combination of if, isNumber and find functions to check whether the cell contains one of three categories homework and mobile, and then replace long category string to be one word only. After applying below written formula, I will get short category list. To extract an email address from a cell, I will use this robust formula that contains if, len, find, left, right, substitute, is number and concatenate function. Formula is divided into four parts, whether a white space exists before, and, or after an email address. Then each part of the formula is checking where is the position of commercial ad. Based on commercial ad and a white space positions, formula is slicing the string into two substrings, where both substrings contain left and right parts of an email address. Finally, formula is joining two substrings into a new string that represents an email address. Applying formula on the strings on the left side, I will get new column with the email addresses only. Now I would like to generate a new column named country that will correspond to the email address part after the last full stop. In this example, this part of an email address is country domain and there, is, and there are 8 different country domains that correspond to 8 different countries. I'm going to use VLOOKUP, WRITE, LEN and FIND functions first to isolate the main part of an email address and then to assign country name to country domain. After applying this formula, I will get a new column country. Now let's apply all formulas to main table. I will change phone number format, shorten phone category to be one word list, extract an email address from a string and generate a new column country. After removing all columns I do not need anymore, here is the final table with all data in proper format, adjusted category list, email addresses only and a new column country. To filter data visually I will first use slicer. Let's choose mobile and work phone categories and then filter data again choosing Australia and let's say United States. Data in table now represents all records that correspond to two phone categories and two countries. Another way to filter data visually is to use pivot table. On the right side are all columns sorted out as pivot table fields. Row fields are set not to show subtotals and grand totals. Let's choose again two phone categories and two countries. Data and pivot table now corresponds to selected criteria. Thank you for watching.